Welcome to this technical video about integrating SaaS fulfillment APIs into your SaaS solution so that you can publish the offer onto the Azure marketplace. My name is Mayur Tendulkar and I am a customer engineer with Azure Fast Track team in Microsoft India. You can reach out to me on my social media coordinates displayed on this page. So let's get started. As you can see, I am on the Microsoft Partner Center commercial marketplace and I have created an offer which is a software as a service offer. Now this is a transactable offer and as you can see for transactable offer there is a technical configuration requirement. For example, you need to have a landing page so that when a customer tries to buy and trying a customer is trying to buy your solution, uh, the Azure marketplace can redirect the user to your landing page with a token so that you can identify that particular customer. So that is the first requirement, which is having a landing page URL. The second is a connection webhook. So if suppose there is any change in the uh, software as a service uh, or SaaS subscription, Microsoft needs to notify you to, you know, make those changes into that particular product or subscription. So in that case, Microsoft can communicate to you through this webhook. Now these two things I will cover later on in another video, but the most important bit which is required to, you know, uh, publish this configure, uh, publish this software as a service offer onto marketplace is the Azure Active Directory tenant ID and the application ID. These two are required for accessing the landing page URL because at the end there will be some token which will be passed uh, uh, on the landing page URL which you need to resolve and get the customer information and along with that you need to call APIs like activating the subscription, deactivating the subscription and all other stuff. To have that secure communication you need to have a application registered with the Active Directory. Now let's see from where we can get this information. So now I have logged into my portal here. So you can see it is portal.azure.com. I am logged into my Active Directory. Let me go to the Active Directory over here. This is my Azure Active Directory and this is the tenant ID which is my Active Directory ID, which is required. So this is the number one requirement. So here we have the Azure Active Directory ID, which is nothing but the tenant ID, which is available over here. Now what I will do is I will go to the app registrations. Here you will see all the applications or owned applications, uh, which you might have registered or created. Uh, uh, with Active Directory authentication. Now, if I click on new registration, I can say that I want to create a marketplace offer sample, which is the name of my application. And I can say that only accounts in this organizational directory, which is, which makes this application as a single tenant, or I can also make this as a multi-tenant application, or if I want, I can allow, uh, uh, you know, personal accounts, for example, people who can sign in with Skype or Xbox account also uh, sign into my application or only people with Microsoft account. For the time being, I will leave the account in this organizational directory and I will make it a single tenant application. You also need to provide a, a redirect URI. So as we will be using OAuth, you know, and you might be knowing that in OAuth, uh, the browser goes from one page to other page to other resource to make sure that authentication, uh, authentication happens smoothly, we need to understand when the authentication is completed and this redirect URI can help us. So let's say it will be some uh, URL, something like app or something that sort of, okay? You can provide uh, a, a, as you want. So I have already registered the application. So let me go back by discarding these changes. Uh, let me go to the all applications. Okay, so I have created this already. Uh, I have al already registered this application, which is marketplace offer. So let me open it up. So here uh, you can see the directory ID, which is also a tenant ID, which we have already noted it down. And once you registered the application, you get the client ID or application ID. This is the second information which is required here. 
So this is the same information that I have collected. Okay. Now I can go to the API permissions. And you can see I have given the uh, accreditatory graph uh, read access. Okay. And I have also provided the Microsoft graph read access because uh, Azure accreditatory graph API is on the deprecation path. And uh, after June 30th, uh, you will not be, uh, you know, able to add it uh, to this, uh, to this uh, service. So if I go to the uh, overview once again, uh, this is my application ID, which is uh, marketplace offer. And I, I have two redirect URIs. Let me just show you how I have created this redirect URIs. So these are my redirect URIs. Okay. And if I go to the certificates and secrets, I have created a secret over here. Okay. Note down this secret as well, because this secret will be required to call the APIs. Okay. Now, what information do we have? We have the uh, tenant ID, we have the application ID, and we also have the secret, which I have already written. Now, if I go to the SaaS Fulfillment API documentation, so these are the APIs, right? Which says that, uh, let me just quickly go at the top. So these are the SaaS Fulfillment API, uh, which are required for the commercial marketplace. And there are various requirements and you can just see the flow and all that over here in this documentation. The first API that we need to call is basically the Resolve API. This is the first API, okay? which we need to call, which is marketplaceapi.microsoft.com slash API slash stars. And this is the URL, right? We need to provide the API version. We need to provide the, uh, the content type and all that. But the first thing that is required is the authorization token. That means there is one step before calling this API, which is getting the access token. Okay. Once you get that access token, we will be using this access token over here as a bearer token. Okay. And then we will be getting the marketplace token. The marketplace token will be available when a user visits your landing page. So it will be here. So all the information will be here available after the token. Uh, and this token is encoded. So you need to decode that before you pass it on to this. Now let's go ahead and see how we can call these APIs. Okay. So what I have done is I have created this Azure uh, marketplace collection, uh, the API collection in the postman so that uh, it, it, it will become easier for you to understand. It doesn't matter which technology stack you use. You can use uh, Ruby, you can use .NET, Java, um, JavaScript, anything, okay, to call these APIs. So the first is basically we need to acquire a token. So here I am providing the client ID, okay, so by the way, this is the URL to get the uh, token. So here, what I have done is I've used this URL and this is the tenant ID, which I have added over here, which is Active Directory ID. Okay. Then I added the client ID over here. Okay. These are the parameters. Then we are using the client credential flow, the client secret, as I mentioned that I just copied the, uh, the uh, client secret from here. So this is the client secret and the resource. So this resource will be same for all of us as this resource is nothing but the SaaS fulfillment API. So that means we are authenticating against this particular active directory to access this resource, which is nothing but a SaaS fulfillment API. Okay. And we are using the X uh, www form URL encoded format. Okay. Now if I send this request, which is a post request. Okay. If everything is fine, I should be getting me uh, a access token. So let me just copy this access token over here. Okay. So let me just copy this. Okay. So this is my token. So this is the step one that is done. Now we need to resolve a token. Okay. So this is the another API. Okay. We need to use the API version and in the headers, I'm using the content type as application JSON and the marketplace token is the token that I will get when I will start activating my uh, SaaS solution. And in the authorization bit, let me add update this token. Okay. Let me send it. Okay. 
and you can see that it has already uh, I, I already have this token okay which I can you know uh, decode it over here and you know get the information and this is the subscription name and this is the offer ID and this is the subscription which I need to activate so the next call will be you know to activate now let me open up my Azure portal where I have created this and how actually we navigate from the Azure portal to the landing page and how we decode this. Uh, just give me a minute. So here I am on another portal and let me just quickly see all the SaaS solution that I'm subscribed to. So what I have done is I have just bought this uh, solution my tend to do Elias and you can see it says that it is pending for, config pending for configuration. So when I click on this configure account, let me copy this URL. Okay. Let me open up notepad. Copy this over here. Let me just get this token. Copy this. Then let's search for any URL decoder. There are a lot of online tools. Let me just go ahead quickly grab one tool, paste the URL over here, paste the token over here. Let's say decode. This is the token that we have. Just copy it. Let's go back to the postman and what I will do is I will replace this token over here. Okay. This shouldn't change at all. Now if I say send, yeah, so you can see this is the subscription ID. This is the publisher ID and offer ID and all that. Now the next step should be to activate this subscription. Okay. And this, these APIs are straightforward. So if I go back to the uh, documentation, okay. This is the API reference. Okay. This is the response uh, that it should be. And uh, as it says that, you know, uh, uh, we need to have this X marketplace token and the activate subscription API where we need to provide the subscription ID. And again, remember you will need the authorization token, you know, which we got in the first execution, right? So the acquire token. So once you get that token, you can, you know, uh, go ahead and call this different APIs. So you can activate the subscription, get list of all subscriptions. Uh, you can deactivate the subscriptions and all that. Okay. I hope this helps. So this is the starting point for integrating SAS fulfillment API into your application. So that's, uh, that's everything I wanted to cover. Thank you.